This is to explain how function mapping works on a decoder in a model train. So when you buy a new model train and you put in a new decoder, you might have noticed that when you press a certain function key on the controller, the digital controller, you don't get the effect you expect. This is because every manufacturer might have wired the, the, the model differently than, than another manufacturer. Uh, so the decoder is set to default which means if I press uh, F2, for example, the default is 2, F3, the default is 4, F4, the default is 8, F5, the default is 16, and so on. So what we need to do is find out which function output is connected, uh, or which function's output is, is connected to which output. Because we know uh, things have, are set to a default um, with the Turbstrainomatic decoder and most other decoders as well. Um, so if I press F1, I know the default is value 1. And the value will always double. It will be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. There's nothing in between. Um, if I press F1, the front lights go on. So I know the value 1 will turn on the front white lights. If I press F2, the lights at the rear go on. So I normally write this down, it's, it, it's easy to remember it this way. Uh, if I press uh, F3, the lights on the rear go on. And I press F4, the light, the rear lights or the front turn on. So what I now know is that the front lights white are value 1, the, the rear lights white are value 2, the red rear lights are value 4, and the front red lights are value 8. And what, what, what I want to happen is when I uh, press F0, that those are normally the lights, um, I want uh, in one direction, I want the white lights to turn on and the rear I want the red lights to turn on. Um, to, um, to do this we have to combine the value of those lights. And the, and the one thing is only F0 and F1 can be programmed in two ways. When you go forward, you can add a value to do one thing and to turn one light on, and if you go in reverse, you can decide it has to do something else, everything off or normally one direction. If you go the other direction, you want to have the white light to turn in that direction. So only F0 and F1 can, can do that, the rest, F only F2 is only one function. It doesn't matter which direction you, you go, the same thing will happen which you have programmed. So now we know that the, the front light white is value one. And we know the lights, the red lights and the rear, which we need to be to turn on, are value four. So one and four is five, which means that uh, for the forward uh, the forward direction on F1, oh, sorry, F0. We want the total value 5. So that is CV33. In the programmer, I'm going to say I want to program CV33 and the value to be 5. Press the, turn the lights on, and we see then the front lights with the red rear lights. What we now know is when we pressed F2, the white lights on the rear turned on. So that's what we, you know, so we have value two, we need to have for sure in the F0 reverse direction. Um, and we know that eight is the value for the light on the, on the other side. So we've got two and eight, and, and two and eight in total makes 10, which means that in F0 reverse, and that is CP34. CP34. We have to enter the value of 10. Which means now, as you can see, the lights are turned on the correctly. And if I'm going to change direction, see, all the lights are functioned correctly. So that's the setup for F0. And if you want to find out, 
the values for uh, for all other functions, you just take one CV and you change that one CV with uh, and program it with 8, 16, 32, 46, 128 and see what happens what, what happens when you activate that function button. And let's say you're going to use F10 just to try out and see what function is uh, active. So CV, uh, F10 is CV45. So in 45 you're going to enter 16 and, and turn it on and see what, what happens when you press here. But then you have to enter 32 and then see what happens when you press F, F, F10 and then 64 and, and see what happens. And once you know what happens, you can you can allocate it to the correct function key. And when you com want to combine two things, uh, if you want to combine three things, you just add them all, you add the value all up, and then you enter that in the CV. And when you press the button, all three functions will then be activated. That's it.